There is a story to tell. The story itself is the name. Hey, Jack, what's that pulling in? The SP-1249? I walked on the banks of the tin can, Banana Dock, and sat down under the huge shade of a Southern Pacific locomotive to look at the sunset over the box house hills and cry. Oh. 
Jack Kerouac sat beside me on a busted rusty iron pole. Companion, we thought the same thoughts of the soul, bleak and blue and sad-eyed, surrounded by the gnarled steel roots of trees of machinery. The oily water on the river mirrored the red sky. Sun sank on top of final Frisco peaks. No fish in that stream. No hermit in those mounts. Just ourselves, roomy-eyed and hungover, like old bums on the riverbank, tired and wild. Look at the sunflower, he said. There was a dead gray shadow against the sky, big as a man, <laughs> sitting dry on top of a pile of ancient sawdust. <gasps> I rushed up, enchanted. It was my first sunflower. <laughs> Memories of Blake, my visions, Harlem and hills of the Eastern River. Bridges clanking. Joe's greasy sandwiches, dead baby carriages, black treadless tires, forgotten and unretreaded, the poem of the riverbank, condoms and pots, steel knives, nothing stainless, only the dank muck and the razor sharp artifacts passing into the past. And the gray sunflower. Poised against the sunset, crackly bleak and dusty with the smut and smog and smoke of olden locomotives in its eye. Corolla of bleary spikes, pushed down and broken like a battered crown. Seeds fallen out of its face, soon to be toothless mouth of sunny air. Sun rays obliterated on its hairy head like a dried wire spider web. Leaves stuck out like arms out of the stem. Gestures from the sawdust root. Broke pieces of plaster fallen out of the black twigs. A dead fly in its ear. Unholy battered old thing, you were my sunflower. Oh my soul, I loved you then.
The grime was no man's grime, but death and human locomotive. All that dress of dust. That veil of darkened railroad skin. That smog of cheek. That eyelid of black misery. That sooty hand or phallus or protuberance of artificial worse than dirt. In Industrial, modern, all that civilization spotting your crazy golden crown. And those blear thoughts of death and dusty, loveless eyes and ends and withered roots below, in the whole pile of sand and sawdust, rubber dollar bills, X skin of machinery, the guts and the innards of the weeping coffin cars, the empty lonely tin cans with their rusty tongues a lack. What more could I name? The smoked ashes of some cock cigar? the cunts of wheelbarrows and the milky breasts of cars, worn out asses out of chairs and sphincters of dynamos. All these entangled in your mummied roots. Ah, and you there, standing before me in the sunset, all your glory in your form, a perfect beauty of a sunflower, a perfect, excellent, lovely sunflower existence, a sweet, natural eye to the new hip moon, woke up alive and excited, grasping in the sunset shadow, sunrise, golden, monthly breeze. forget you were a flower? When did you look at your skin and decide you were a impotent, dirty old locomotive, the ghost of a locomotive, the specter in 
shade of a once powerful mad American locomotive. You were never no locomotive, Sunflower. You, you were a Sunflower. And you, locomotive, you are a locomotive, forget me not. So I grabbed up the skeleton thick sunflower and stuck it at my side like a scepter. sermon to my soul and Jack's soul too and anyone who listen we're not our skin of grime we're not our dread Bleak, dusty, imageless locomotive. We're all beautiful golden sunflowers inside. We're blessed by our own seed and golden, hairy, naked, accomplishment bodies. Growing into mad, black, formal sunflowers in the sunset. Spied on by our eyes under the shadow of the mad locomotive riverbank sunset frisco hilly tin can evening sit down vision. So Jack, <laughs> there she goes. <sighs> Isn't she beautiful? The SP-1249. Going. Maybe forever. But never. <laughs> 